You know, I, uh, I call myself an artist, but uh, really it's been a long time since I made much art. Most of what I do creativity-wise these days is uh, uh, has to do with the house and so forth. But uh, so I know a lot of people on, well, most people on Facebook and a lot of people on Live Journal, they, they um, weren't around back in my art producing days. So I get a quick tour quick art tour of the house. Uh, one of the first things I did when we moved in here was redo this kitchen and I and I put these uh, grapevines around the around the kitchen which I was pretty happy with. In case you're wondering what uh, this means, Stronza Fiori Dalla Mia Cucina uh, roughly translated from the Italian is bitch stay out of my kitchen. Um, this painting here, this is one that my mom did uh, back when I was in high school. She took up painting. Most of what she did was this sort of thing. This is one that she had made for my grandmother I think and I got that after my grandmother died. Um, and she uh, was diagnosed with cancer so she wanted to do something for each of the kids and obviously she didn't think that that was something I would want so she asked me what what I would want and uh, I had this album LP um, by Synergy it's a guy with uh, synthesizers this would have been 75 76 and anyway, so it was an album, and you you, know, you unfolded it, double album or double jacket, I guess, and I had this, uh, it had this on the, the outside, so I had her do that for me. So that's always been one of my prized possessions. Um, let's see, a few more, a few more of those here, a few more of those up here. Dog. And, uh, of course, everybody's seen this, but uh, I think that counts as art. When I first uh, bought this house, the uh, garage doors <clears throat> had big elephants on them. Apparently this was like a uh, local chairman of the local Republican Party, and there were elephants. People tell me there were elephants everywhere in the house, but in particular there were elephants on these garage doors. So, so the first thing I did was... Um, get rid of the elephants and uh, so I did this uh, I guess you call it uh, Trump Trump Lowell um, barn doors and uh, of course the little French bulldogs these were silhouettes that I did from actual photographs of uh, our French bulldog Gollum and uh, so again, I think that counts as art. Also built this. It's not really art, but I thought it was nice. So we're in the uh, <clears throat> dining room right now, which is a, a mess due to uh, estate sales and so forth. Um, I got these cute little things. Uh, these belong to my grandmother in Arkansas. And uh, after she died, my sister got them, and then my sister gave them to me. So I'm going to hang those in my den uh, when he says. Anyway, um, <clears throat> put these curtains up. Um, but what I want to show you was this. Um, I bought this from a guy in Rowlett, Texas, at the Starbucks there. Uh, and I thought it was kind of kind of good. It's some sort of musical themed thing. And I don't really have good lighting in my house for photographs, so I'm going to use my flashlight. So this is a, a painting I did. I call it Prometheus. Um, let's see. This was, I think this is the, about the only one I did here in Houston. I did an apartment before I, I moved. The, uh, the artist is a friend of mine in Dallas. Oh, I'm sorry, the model is a friend of mine in Dallas. That is not mine. That's by a guy named, well, I want to say Moskowitz. It's uh, 
It's a um, cave painting. That's a painting of a cave painting. Uh, <clears throat> this is by the lovely and talented Julie Zarati. I have a few of hers. It's called the Empress. Another one of hers over here. A little, a little, I guess, uh, eight by twelve or something like that. This is something that I like. It's uh, it's a signed. I'll get the lint on it. It's a signed uh, Salvador Dali print. One of the famous. Salvador Dali forgeries from the end of his life when his <coughs> business assistant was <coughs> um, making a mint off of his stuff. It's another uh, Julie Zarati. Uh, this is kind of cool. We actually got it at Pier 1. Uh, this is a still life that I did. It's called The Howling. I did it a long time ago. I don't know. I kind of like it. My little statues. Not my statue, but a statue. Little uh, garage sale bulldog leash holder. <coughs> uh, that little sculpture. Now this one I actually did make. This is uh, this is my granddaughter Mia, who's just turned eighteen. This was when she was about five. Uh, I made. Uh, Play over her head and uh, and cast uh, about five of these. Um, this is a self-portrait that I did uh, in that class. Uh, we had to do a self-portrait, so I did it in, in one night. I was pretty pleased with that. The feathers have a special significance to me. Uh, another Julie Zarati right here. I like this one because it it goes so well with the crazy wallpaper that we have in this house. So this is by a guy named Andreg, obviously. So a good, good picture of it. Uh, can't really put in the glare, but it's a uh, tattooed um, David, Michelangelo's David. Um, I don't even know where I saw that, but. I got it, I ordered it, and it came uh, for uh, Hank Jones with best wishes, Ron and Rick. Now this is, uh, this is one of mine. Uh, this is called, I want to say Effervescence. Uh, it's based on the idea of uh, the original Burning Man where the gulls or whoever would put somebody in a basket and burn them up. But it also uh, has to do with uh, like personal transformation and so forth. This is my good friend Marcus. Uh, he was my model for a variety of things. There's another one. It's called uh, Boys of Summer for obvious reasons. This is called Temple of Jupiter. Uh, my stepmom gave me this years ago. She and one of her friends ran a little uh, antique shop, and, uh, and she gave me this. I have no idea you know, where it came from or if it's worth anything, but I always liked it. I actually have a lot of, of dollies. He was my one of my idols in high school. Him and uh, Leonardo were my high school idol. So I have this one. I have this one. Last Supper, which I think is nice because I have this one that my that my grandmother had that I added to my collection. Never have too many Last Suppers, I see. This is a piece of fused glass that I did. Actually, I have a glass kiln. Again, I haven't fired it up in years, but uh, it's fused glass. Um, I think it's called Sun Circles. It was based on the uh, the uh, Sun Circles out in the west somewhere. It used to be in a wooden frame, but the wooden frame cracked. So this is kind of cool. Um, 
It's a ceramic. I got it in a little gift shop in Dallas. This is, I keep wanting to turn the camera, but that's a mistake. I can zoom in. So this is, again, my friend Marcus. Uh, we went to uh, Shreveport to the casinos once, and on the way back, we stopped in a field, and uh, believe it or not, took this picture. I don't know what I call this one, but that's always a favorite of mine. So this wall here is sort of where I've put my pencil drawings. Um, this one is called. Oh, I think it's zoom off. This one is called Fist. Uh, a model friend of mine. This one is called the Dying Gall. This one, uh, I think, it's just internet picture that I adapted. This one, uh, same model as that one, if you can't tell. This one is another Marcus um, lady. Um, he's out of a book, I think. Uh, she's definitely out of a book. This is one where I help help or hinder. This is one where I uh, I took a photograph and modified it on the computer and paint shop and then printed that out and then drew that. Uh, that's another one, another friend of mine. Some lady, lady out of a book, I guess. <coughs> now these are kind of neat. These are actually Caleb's. Uh, I think the story is there was some grade school or something and they did some art and they had a little sale, so he bought four of these. Uh, this is by Karen Velez, fifth grade. Letitia Cruz, 5th grade. Juan Solis. And uh, Raquel Johnson. So, I always thought that was a, a really cool idea and a cool thing to do. I think he paid them 50 bucks a piece, which must have been quite a thrill for the kids. Stained glass I did years ago, like 1990, I guess, I had a stained glass shop. One of my one of my favorite pieces. Uh, I think I'm actually going to take this and uh, put it in a light box and hang it up on the wall. Uh, this is something else my mom did. She went through a painting on glass phase. It's really hard to see, but it's like several panes of glass, layers of glass with. Uh, paintings on each one for sort of a 3D effect. And this is another one of those. Don't you love my wallpaper? This is uh, the upstairs bathroom yet to be remodeled. This is Caleb's studio. Uh, it's also kind of a wreck right now. We've just got so many things going on. Um, this is it's Korg. Uh, this is one of the early remodels we did. I, I built in this little music studio. Here, there's the Mini Mac over there. And uh, anyway, what I want to show you here was this. It's a collage of photographs. Um, Caleb's done quite a bit of modeling in his days, and I took uh, some of his model pictures and. Uh, Put them into this collage for him. And that was actually even before I moved down here. This is the used to be art studio, now Caleb's office. Caleb's office. Um, uh, and exercise room. Exercise. But there's one piece of stained glass in here that I had forgotten about. Um, it's hidden behind the bow flex there. But uh, 
I adapted this from a uh, old Art Deco Olympics poster, as I recall. Can't really see it, but it's got some really fantastic um, hand-blown glass. The what looks to be white there is actually sort of clouds, and then that pink is a very nice bullseye uh, pink glass made with gold. Um, so I like that one. Okay, now we're in my uh, partially transformed den. Uh, you can see my burgeoning collection of antique electronic shit. Um, this is my mom. It's her, uh, I want to say, high school picture. Uh, this is uh, George Singer Sargent, not by George. No, oh, I'm sorry, John Singer Sargent, not by him, but by Julie Zarati. Um, so another stained glass I did back in the day. It's from a Maxfield Parish uh, painting. I've always liked it a lot. Another cast of, uh, of Nia's head. Uh, this is a photograph I did of the same model that's in Prometheus downstairs. Um, this is just something that I did that I thought was fun, playing with paints. This is my oldest granddaughter Mia's older half-sister. And this is from a photograph I had of her from, she was maybe, I don't know, seven or eight, I guess. A uh, little torso here, I'm not sure how successful that was. Another one here. This is another uh, dolly, it's called... Uh, I think it's called Lincoln and Gala. Gala being his wife, of course. And you know, when you zoom out, then you see the the Lincoln face, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, this is a early painting I did. Let's see if it have a date? Yeah, '98. This one, which you can't see at all. I shouldn't really move it. Uh, this is the first piece of art I ever bought. Um, I bought it in a. I can't even see it. I bought it in a uh, place down in Deep Ellum in Dallas, and uh, it's basically sort of a collage of cave paintings and, and various uh, various imagery. It's can't say it at all, but it's cool. Uh, this is a Malcolm X stamp. I bought a, a block of stamps and framed them. I have another one of of uh, Andy Warhol somewhere. This is a puppy. Anyway, that's uh, that's the art tour. Um, hopefully, someday I'll have a chance to get back and do a little bit more of this.